This is um, our video of a day in life of a St John's College student at Oxford University. My name's Emma and I am a psychology and philosophy student. This is a standard second year room. Um, some are bigger, some are slightly smaller, but actually this is probably quite a small room for St John's. Also, every room, which is just amazing, has a fridge. Breakfast. Yeah, um, keeps, helps me keep my room tidy. So it's now um, about 9.30 and going to head over to Kenji Cafe, which is a cafe within college. And it's a really nice place to work because usually you have friends there, but it's quite a quiet atmosphere, um, apart from at lunchtime, when it's just nice for a break. So I'm going to head there and do some work for my tutorial that I have later in the day, um, which I'll say more about later. And yeah, so let's go. So this is Kendrew, a newer part of college, which isn't um, the traditional box and stuff. Um, <laughs> um, we these... been here all night. <laughs> <laughs> um, these guys are um, two other psychologists, um, my friends Angelica and Pascal. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Look, we're mind What's mapping. Up? I'm Emma. drinking coffee. <laughs> so. At the moment, I'm checking my emails. I check it about twice a day because quite a lot of stuff that you get through comes on your emails. I, so I have my tutorial today and I have a presentation to do. So I'm going to finish off the presentation and we also have to do a plan of a different essay. So then I'm going to do a bit of reading and um, formulate the plan ready for the um, tutorial. And hopefully you'll see whether it goes well or whether I'm not very prepared. <laughs> What's it for? Right, and I believe that it has this really cool dual root function, maybe underpinned by some sort of anatomical distinction within it. Are you coming to football practice today? Yeah. Woo! That's such an <laughs> unenthusiastic woo. It's like, woo! <laughs> Hooray! It's Nothing awaits you but pain yeah, but and suffering. I'm telling you, he's my coach, and he enjoys inflicting pain. Torture. And making me run. Um, now I've done some studying, had lunch, um, and now going over to my tutorial with my tutor, Abby. Um, my, it's a psychology tutorial, and it's going to be on schizophrenia. Be directly taught for about an hour um, by an expert in in the field, um, called a fellow or a tutor. So you'll see sort of what it's kind of like. Yeah, my first presentation is on is the dopamine hypothesis outdated. So the first thing that you need to ask here is, well, what is the dopamine hypothesis? Whereas in this case, um, whereas before there was a focus on D2 receptors, they found actually D1 receptors are also important because, um, in schizophrenia and psychotic symptoms because if there's um, less of them, then there's going to be more dopamine going past them because they're not going to stop them. That's everything. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was quite long. <laughs> no, I think that's the meatiest okay. of the presentation, so you probably have more to cover than everybody else. Could you just take us back to the beginning, not necessarily yeah. with the slides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, when you talked about the idea of the original formulation of the dopamine hypothesis, yeah. unless I missed it, I don't think you really talked about what the problems with that are. Why have we moved oh, okay. away from the idea of of it's to do with D2 receptors in straight um, and it's impossible to cover everything. I think, I think you did a reasonable job. Good. So I've now finished my toot, clearly, and um, I'm now at football practice uh, with the St John's women's football team. <laughs> oh, yes, Alice! <laughs> Cheers. 
So now I'm going to leave the library, finish my work for the day, and I'm going to meet some friends at the pub. <laughs>